boys and girls, it's Mrs. Wagner for Storytime today. Today we're going to read the story by Eric Carle called A Very Quiet Cricket. Now I found out that there are about 4,000 different kinds of crickets. And some live above the ground, some live under the ground, some live even in the water. And both crickets, boy and girl crickets, can hear, but only the boy cricket can make a sound by rubbing his wings together. Some people say it sounds like a song. So let's read our story, The Very Quiet Cricket. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped the big cricket, rubbing its wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittlebug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But it, nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, word of dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. I'll see you again soon for another story time. Bye.